You know, we always get very excited when we have people on from one of three places, Texas or Oklahoma, where, where you're from and where yeah. you grew up, and from Illinois, where I grew up. We have a fellow Illinois in here. You grew up in uh, Joliet, Illinois. Joliet, I did, yes. So what the heck are you doing in Florida? How'd you get down there? Uh, my father retired early, and, and we had always come here for vacation over to Siesta Key in Sarasota, so okay. ended up... Uh, getting a place here and going to high school in Sarasota. But now you are far from retired. Uh, you work full time and you do your music and you have how many children? I have four. Good four Lord. Children. That's yes. like having five jobs. Yes, it is. Yes. So the things that you cross off the list are eat and sleep. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. These are the things you don't <laughs> pretty do. Much. Yeah. Pretty much. You're using as a platform, and I think this is incredible and great that musicians are getting to do this now, your self-produced music you're putting through on YouTube. Correct. And that's how you're drumming up your fan base. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. It's been, you know, it's one of those things I just, I posted a few videos in the beginning just for fun, uh, and, and fortunately people responded and liked it, and so I've just kind of been doing it. So you're, yeah. you're producing your music yourself, now did you do the video as well? Did you set up a little camera yourself? I do the video, yeah, do that? it's very basic, just, you know, on the, on the, on a Mac, and, uh, but yeah, I do all the, you know, the video and the sound. Well, it looks for, if you check them out on YouTube, it looks like, you know, you're in the middle of a recording session and it's almost like a U2 documentary, you know? Like we're, we're, we're voyeuristic. It's like right, we're watching right. you produce yeah, at the same yeah, time. Yeah, it's enjoyable. I, 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 it's a it's a good release. You know, it's fun. Do you have any plans for like maybe doing, if not a complete album, maybe an EP of some kind, a CD with four or five songs on it? Yeah, absolutely. I would love to. Uh, I'm I'm working on putting a lot of my original material in in an MP3 format and and possibly a CD uh, down the road. So we'll see how that goes. Well, right now you can find them on YouTube. The uh, screen, the uh, URL has been up on the screen for. Yes, so you can check that out. You can also visit us online at studioton.tv to learn more about Bradley as well. So uh, you got time to do one more. Yeah, absolutely. Wait, waiting for you, waiting for me, waiting yes. for me, waiting for you. Waiting for I think you, he's waiting, waiting for, for us to go away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll do that. Uh, big show coming up on Monday, a tour of uh, Whedon Island Preserve. How yes, about that? Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Plus, we're going to be making cake. That'll be great. And a lot of other fun stuff. But uh, before we go, we are going to once again, as we said, hear from Bradley Aikman. Waiting for you, waiting for me. Tell you about a girl that I know owns. Her shining eyes tell a story of their own. That a secret to everyone in this world but me. And she can make you dance when you got no moves. And she can make you sing when you're feeling blue. And everything she's doing, man, she's doing for me. She believes that love is just a beautiful dream. But dreams only last so long. And when you wake, you will find me waiting for you. Waiting for me. Oh, 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 waiting for me. 